The light is on. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll keep it here, okay? I'll, I'll sort it out. Yeah. I'm DDA. Now, let's have a look at this. What we have here is a 2010 Ducati 696. The customer says that the engine is running unevenly and a warning light on the dashboard is on. Let's have a look. Yeah, precisely. Here we can see that the warning light is on. Let's carry out a diagnosis. This is the BDU-02 adapter for the Ducati. I'll just connect it. And then the VCI. Here you can see that they're joined. Make sure that the emergency switch is switched to run. Let's turn on the ignition and here. Let's start the engine Erico diagnosis. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we have a problem, an error code for the Lambda probe. We can see that for the Lambda probe, there's lots of possible causes. We can even see here photos of the probes. Uh, here we're being instructed uh, to check the voltage. In the consequences and causes, we see insufficient engine power spluttering, which is exactly what the customer was complaining about. Or our fuel consumption, this means that there could also be a short circuit. So now we have a detailed overview. Uh, what we're going to do first is switch off the error code. Here we can see it switched off. Okay. And now we're going to turn the ignition off and then on again to see whether the problem is persisting. On remet le contact, on est bien sur run. The light is still on. It's clear that the problem is still there, so we have a technical fault. Uh, let's remove the lambda probe and see what's going on. Uh, we can take some preliminary measures and then see where we're going. The front cylinder is there, the lambda probe is here. What often happens with these machines is that the cable suspension isn't attached properly. Then the cable can fuse with the silencer. Let's unfasten the connector. It's not particularly secure anyway. It's not engaged properly, so what we're going to do now is clean the whole thing. Then we can see how it is, like this. First the connector, then the socket. Okay. So, so that's sorted out. The connectors might have had a buildup of verdigris. If you drive in the rain, water can get in everywhere. Also, some people clean their bikes with high pressure cleaners or even just with a hose. If moisture gets in, it can lead to problems with the probe. On this bike, there are two Lambda probes, one on the rear cylinder and one at the front. If one of them is faulty, the values for the preparation of the mixture for the cylinder concern won't be right anymore. But here, mind you, here, I'm wondering if there was a problem with the connection. Position the connector as far up as possible. Okay, look at this. Now we have the lambda probe here. The silencer is much further underneath, and now I've hung everything as far up as possible with the cable binder. Up there behind the frame. At least now it won't burn or get hot. Let's switch off the error code. 
Okay, let's select engine, engine diagnostic connector. The VCI is still in place. Now I'm pressing, come here. I'm pressing the waste paper basket symbol to delete. Here we are, error code is being deleted. Okay. Now we can switch off the ignition. Let's start the engine. There are no more errors indicated, no more warning lights. The indicator on the dashboard is off, uh, but let's check anyway. Let's see. Let's go back, error code, engine. Moteur. Là, ça mouline le temps qui se connecte. OK, voilà. No error stored in control limit. Hey, so that's all good. We saved some time. The motorbike is repaired, it's working again. We can give the customer his bike back. That was easy to fix. This time we use the Mega Mats 56 Malta brand equipment. What's next?